Here's how gaming on the Mac is getting even better with macOS Ventura. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm very excited because macOS Ventura is set to be released this fall and with it come some big improvements for gaming. Thanks to macOS Ventura, we may see many more AAA games arriving on the Mac. So let's go ahead and talk about how macOS is making gaming even better with Ventura. If I could interject for just a moment, do you want to experience twice as fast load times in Safari on your iPhone, iPad, and Mac? Then download Magic Lasso Adblock, the ad blocker designed for you. It's easy to use, can even block YouTube ads, and can double the speed at which Safari loads. Thank you to Magic Lasso for sponsoring this video. Magic Lasso is an efficient, high performance, and free ad blocker. With over 4,000 five star reviews, it is simply the best Safari ad blocker for your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. It blocks all intrusive ads, trackers, and annoyances, letting you experience a faster, cleaner, and more secure web browsing experience. And unlike some other ad blockers, Magic Lasso respects your privacy and doesn't accept payments from advertisers. The app also now blocks over 10 types of YouTube ads, including all video ads and pop-up banner ads. So join over 200,000 users and download Magic Lasso Adblock for free from the App Store or via www.magiclasso.co. As a special thank you to Apple Insider viewers, if you use the link down below in the description or pinned in the comments, you will get one month of free access to all of the app's pro features. Thank you again to Magic Lasso Adblock for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to our main content. Let's start off with some high-level changes. Apple is improving Game Center. Game Center is Apple's social platform for games, and we're seeing improvements on iOS 16, but with macOS Ventura, we're also seeing a new activity feed, so you can keep up to date with what your friends are playing. Beyond that, games now will support share play on the Mac. You can be playing a game while on a FaceTime call, while in messages. It's really cool to be talking, FaceTiming with somebody while you are playing a game together. It's super easy, super natural, and I'm excited for developers to start building this stuff into their games when macOS Ventura is released. There's also a new feature called Buddy Controller. Buddy Controller is technically an accessibility feature but it allows two different controllers to be combined into one. So one person could be controlling the joysticks while a second person could be controlling the buttons. It helps for those who are differently abled that may need assistance playing games, or if you just wanna take advantage of two people using the same controller while you're playing. There's a di lot of different applications for this, but it's a really neat addition to the gaming controller support inside of Mac OS. Now, I already did a video dedicated to the iOS 16 stuff, but iOS 16 is adding support for Joy-Con controllers and Pro controllers, all the Nintendo controllers basically, to iPhone and iPad. I will say though that Joy-Con support has already been on the Mac, so this is not uh, explicitly new. I tested this on macOS Monterey. You can definitely still use Joy-Cons on previous versions of macOS and the new version of macOS Ventura, but I just wanted to kind of mention it because Joy-Con support is new to iPhone and iPad, which is it's still pretty exciting. So just kind of throwing that in there, even though it's not related to macOS Ventura. Even though Joy-Con support isn't new, we do have support for some new gaming controllers from Logitech, specifically steering wheels. They say the Logitech G920 and the Logitech G29 are both now supported inside of macOS Ventura. So if you like using steering wheels with racing games, great. Those are now supported in Ventura. The other big change, and this one is huge, is Apple is introducing Metal 3. Metal 3 is Apple's graphics framework that a lot of games are built on. And with Metal 3, there's a bunch of new changes that are gonna allow games to fly across all of Apple Silicon. There's some 
big changes here that are all on the developer side, but what you should all care about is that it should make it a lot easier to bring more games to the Mac. If you're interested in the techno jargon, this is what Apple says about Metal 3. In Metal 3, Metal Effects Upscaling enables developers to quickly render complex scenes by using less compute intensive frames, and then apply resolution scaling and temporal anti-aliasing. The result is accelerated performance that provides gamers with a more responsive feel and graphics that look stunning. At DubDub, Apple also announced three big new titles coming to the Mac. We're gonna see EA Grid Legends, Resident Evil Village, and No Man's Sky all arrive on Mac OS. I will say, not all these are new games. I know No Man's Sky is old and uh, Resident Evil Village is like a year old, but it's still great to see these large titles coming to the Mac. And if these are popular and successful, Hopefully we'll see more games coming in the future. This is still a big step forward for what is usually just a barren wasteland of games on the Mac. So even if these games are a little bit older, I'm still pretty excited that they're going to be here. The fact that you could play, you know, Resident Evil or No Man's Sky on a MacBook Air is just crazy to me. And I'm so excited to try it out when these games launch in the fall of 2022. So that rounds it up. That is the news with gaming on macOS Ventura. These are some big changes, new AAA titles, new graphics frameworks, more controller support, and improvements to Game Center and share play. This is all great news for anybody, whether you're a you know very dedicated gamer or just novice amateur gamer. It is great news to see Apple dedicating some time and some resources to gaming on its platform. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I have a lot more videos on macOS, Apple's other operating systems, and everything else coming your way.